输人唔好输阵啦。开火 ！Hi, welcome to the Silver Spleen. My name is Three Peter Johnson, and this is my review of The White Storm. Benny Chan has made some really good movies recently, like Connected and Invisible Target. But he also made Robby Hood, City Under Siege, and Shaolin. So going into the White Storm, I was slightly trepidatious, sick. The trailer looked promising, but trailers always look promising. Nick Chung, Louis Ku Tinlock, and Sean Lau Chingwan play a trio of police officers. They're working to bring down Eight-Faced Buddha, a Chinese drug lord in the Golden Triangle, engagingly overacted by veteran Lo Hoi Pang. Who's been having a pretty good 2013? Lao Tingwan plays Tin, the brash, ambitious leader of the group. Nick Chung Kafai plays Y, the police equivalent of the Quiet Beetle. Louis Ku Tinlock plays Chow, the undercover, whose marriage to a very pregnant woman, as well as his sanity, are both falling apart very quickly. Out of their element in Thailand, things go bad very quickly and very severely. A firefight ends with Lao Tingwan having to make. A horrible choice. The consequences of that choice and the disastrous events that led up to it shape the next five years of the story. The White Storm features strong performances from the leads and most of the supporting cast. It also features good cinematography and solid direction of both the dramatic portions and the action sequences. There's a lot to enjoy about watching three veteran actors sharing a story and bringing so much charisma to a movie. And that's why it's really a shame the film jumps the crocodile, not the shark, the crocodile, a stupid crocodile. It's kind of sad because the good parts of the movie that I talked about, the acting and the action, they continue on past this point in the narrative. But the story has suddenly tasked the viewer with swallowing this ten-pound horse pill of a twist that's just literally and figuratively unswallowable. You want to still like the story and the characters and the movie, but the plot now makes such unreasonable demands of you that watching it feels a lot like being married to a, a vampire with profound developmental disabilities. Let that marinate. I wanted to like this movie and I was enjoying it, and then oh, baby, why you do this to me? You may want to watch this movie. It's up to you. I'd recommend looking at it, but don't. Pay the story too much attention. You'll just get angry later. Now that's not much of an endorsement, and this may not be a great movie, but that doesn't make it okay for you to steal it. So don't download this movie. If you're in Hong Kong or in Asia, go watch it in a cinema and pay to get in. If you're not, wait till it's released to home video and buy a disc or rent it. I have no idea because I've lived in Hong Kong for eight years. I have no idea what's going on. I don't know. Maybe there's video on demand. Nobody tells me these things. My mother still calls me and asks if she needs to rewind the DVD. So look what I'm dealing with. So do me that favor. When this movie is released, we'll update the description. That way you can buy it and not steal it. If there are other movies you'd like to see me review, please just ask. Two stipulations, though. One, it has to still be in print so you can buy it and not steal it, 'cause I'm not going to encourage downloading. And two, I might say no, so I kind of reserve the right of refusal, 'cause there are movies that I know I don't like and I don't want to watch, and so I might have to say no. But if that's the case, probably when you ask me about one, have a backup. If someone out there would like to help with traditional Chinese subtitles for these reviews, please get in touch with me because. I need the help. If you'd like to keep up with what I'm doing on an almost daily basis, I don't know why you would do that. I'm just offering. You can follow me on Twitter and on Facebook, because that way you'll get all the stuff first. Sometimes I go to movie premieres. Usually I just go to movies. Sometimes I might get to visit a movie set. Sometimes I'll meet a famous person at a premiere or just walking down the street. They get kind of frightened when that happens, because. You know, but never mind. So if that sounds like something you would enjoy, please follow me. That way, you'll get all that stuff right away. If you enjoyed my review, please leave me a comment. If you didn't enjoy the review, ah, leave a comment anyway. It'll be fun. If you like the channel, please subscribe. I need it. There, I said it.